Hey guys, any recover because it recovers any thing, any deleted files, any lost data from formatted drives, USB, SD cards, external drives, even from particular partitions, folders, desktop or recycle bin. In short, a software that can make your life easier and stress-free in case you formatted your drive or deleted a folder with important data. But first, I would like to apologize for talking a little silent in this video. I'm recording late at night and I don't want to disturb too much. Hopefully, I can boost the volume in post. So, let's take a look at any recover from iMyPhone and see how good and easy to use it actually is. And to do this, we need to start from the beginning. And the beginning starts with where to download, how to download, how to install and a test run. First thing, open your browser and search for any recover. One word, no space. Or you can just simply click on the link in the description of this video. Here you have the option to download for Windows or if you are on Mac, click on Go to Mac. As you can see here at Windows, it says for Windows 10, 8, 7 and so on. But it works also for Windows 11 as well. I had absolutely no problem with it. Like with any other software, double click to install. But before you proceed with the installation, read the note which explains not to install the program on the partition you want to recover or the data might be overwritten. So keep that in mind when you install the software. Once the software is installed, click on Start Now and take a look at the options presented. You can recover from devices like external drives, USB, SD cards or hard drives, SSDs and so on. Next, you can choose a specific location like recycle bin, desktop or a particular folder. And last but not least, at Advanced Options, you can choose between Can Find a Location or my favorite, Recover from Crashed Computers. And if you are in this scenario where you have a device with a crashed operating system but with important data on it, this option will be very useful because with this software you can create a bootable USB that you'll connect to the target device, the crash device so to speak, and you can recover your data before you flash a new operating system. So my suggestion is to have a USB stick, an SD card, a DVD or whatever with this software on it at all times because you don't know when you might need it. Okay, let's move on. Here I have a USB with some wallpapers that I've made, some videos and thumbnails and of course I don't want to lose them. But because I'm stupid and I forgot that one second ago I checked this USB, I decide now to format it. And obviously after formatting I remember that I had a very important data on this device, data that I don't want to lose, so what to do now? Lucky me, two minutes ago I've installed Any Recover, a software that's expert with this type of stuff and hopefully can save my lost data. So finger crossed, let's give it a try. The recovery process is so easy and intuitive that I feel like it doesn't need any explanation, but I will give one anyway. Go to any recover and select the drive you wish to recover your data from. In my case, I select the USB drive and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just let the program finish the deep scan. You might notice that you'll recover more than you previously had on the drive. Like in my case, it shows 39 photos and 6 videos, while in reality I had probably 9 or 8 pictures and 2 videos. The rest of the stuff are most probably residual files from previous times when you use the drive and trying to open them it might not work. But don't worry, you will have no problems with the files you just lost. The last thing that was on the drive will be recovered without any problems. So, the scan is now complete and all my files are functional and they look good and the only thing left is for me to save them on the device. To do that, all you have to do is select all the files that you want to save and click on recover. And that's about it. Easy as that. This is the way you can recover your data even after formatting your drive. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. Cheers!